But in my opinion, I think Conquest could fall in one of these maps, and it could be a split. We'll have to wait and see what happens here as the pistol round is under, or excuse me, yes, the pistol round is underway. Hurt her. And here we go, Sabo. I'm ready to rock. What's going on? Well, I'm going to touch on that prediction thing. I'm going to say it's going to be 2-0 Conquest. We'll see. Conquest going to start off on T side, as you said. Just around Shazam's hanging in the back, and you're about to see a lot of action uh, contesting right here in Apps. Drake on point, peek in the corner. He's actually going to fall back, watching towards mid, unaware that they've got three groups up in apps. Meanwhile, Daps and Shazam probably creating a little bit of a distraction here before Shazam falls back. You're about to see it all underway very quickly. Drake pushing up. This could be bad, Alex. He really could if he gets caught out here, but he gets Ooh. one and gets taken out. So here we go. They're going to flood this A site, and they're coming out, and they're going for it. But Nathalie tried to shoot at Shazam there. I don't know if he hit him or not, but nonetheless, the bomb is going to go down standard. And now it's a 3v3 setup here, but these T players for Conquest are tagged pretty heavily here with Rick's down to 35 HP, although Netfly and Rick's do have body armor. This is going to be a tall task for them to be able to pull this off. Yeah, it's a tough retake. I mean, you have to go for it. You see Drawso working his way around. He's going to have two people in pit. You see three already on site, but no, none of the pit players have shown themselves. There goes Naf peeking around the corner. Shazam's also dead. Rick's all alone. He's unable to find the kill, and the bomb is going to be defused by Invert. Uh, that puts your first point on the board for Team Coast. Absolutely critical. I mean, we were, we were talking about how, yeah, Coast, they're, they're sitting towards the very bottom of the league. They could be knocked into relegation. They've got this game and really only one more winnable game uh, before they face the, the gauntlet. They, they've yet to face Liquid. They've yet to face Luminosity Gaming. Those, we can assume, are going to be extremely hard battles to win, hard to even take a map on. So this this is really their proving ground. It is their proving ground. A nice job there by Conquest on that retake to be able to get that done. And um, obviously we're going to see a couple P90s here coming out and an AK and MP7. So really nice uh, idea here for, for Conquest is they're just going to try to get aggressive banana control and try to force Team Coast further back. But Interesting about Team Coast is they've got three near that B site, which I guess makes sense because, you know, you're going to absolutely preferentiate one site here with those pistols. And, or, excuse me, they didn't. They actually bought. They actually force bought. So uh, so a nice job there of FAMAS. And this is interesting, Sable. I'm not so sure about this, but like I said, you know, the, the current meta of the game is, is, you know, you force up and then the first team to win two early obviously forces the other team into a save. And, and that's what's happening right now is they are creeping up banana trying to get control. Very conservative play. I'm, I'm, I'm curious what's going to happen with Dumar here. Holding the FAMAS at B site. It's the right site to choose. Daps is going to be on entry. Peeks around the corner, and here we go. Flash, he gets an instant headshot for it. Immediately traded out by Drake. That's all right. Drake's going to go down. Draw soul and dark as well. And that's site entry. Just almost textbook trading into the site. They only lose two. And now it's going to be a 2v3 on the retake. Pistols only. That FAMAS already dropped. So uh, Team Coast... Rather, Team Conquest um, holding on to the momentum. There they are. Santa's Law. Uh, solid player on this team. Has to get in here. Nathfly takes them out. Invert comes in, gets one. He goes for more. Nathfly and them are fighting by Fountain, but he does go down. And two people survive for Conquest as they do get that. And that's going to force Coast into a save here. So nice job by Conquest of getting in there and getting that information early, getting a few frags, and making it work. Nice, nice execution by Conquest. And this is what they need, you know, to get some T-starts, to get things going early so they can rock it hard. Rock it hard. Well, I mean, it's pretty much as you expect right there on uh, on one of those anti-eco rounds, Conquest just reeling off the success of the pistol round. They're, they're so close. I mean, they, they just narrowly won that one. Uh, now it looks like the bomb wants to work its way towards, uh, towards Banana. They're going to take their time. I mean, they know they've got plenty of options. Check it out. Looks like three grenades have been picked up by Team Coast, so they can do lots of delay tactics, dap, spraying through smoke. Not going to find any shots, and it's going to be a little while before the action really gets underway. Yeah, I'm a little surprised by this, Sabo. They've got full armor and head armor with pistols. And a third round buy like this, I mean, I know they killed a decent amount of the Conquest players on these rounds, but for them to do this is a little different than we're used to expecting. And Bert going to throw a smoke, but he gets taken out by Shazam coming around that arch side. And it looks like they, they're they going to hesitate here. They're trying to make a decision on whether they're going to hit A, and I think that they are. And they're coming in here. Uh, they need to be careful, though, because 
Got a few people hiding on this near this A side here that they could pop out and say hello. And Stanislaw does say hello and take out Rush. And they're just playing on this A side here. The bomb down, but they don't know that Doomore is up there in apartments. And it doesn't even nice. matter because the round's over. Four people survive for Conquest, and they are able to do quite a bit of damage. And interesting stuff there. The, the force by third round like that. I mean, what do you think about that, Sable? I mean, is that a good play or is that a bad idea? Well, I mean, they're just trying to catch the, the, the team off guard right there. I think the interesting thing on that was, yeah, a real quick uh, sight take. And uh, Rick sent it up coming up big. I'm really glad that the camera was able to pick that up because he flanked all the way into CT. Uh, picked kind of a hard angle where he can shoot the player in the back and immediately shut down the rotate. So at that point, I think Coast was pretty much out of options, uh, and it was all over very, very quickly. This time around, uh, Coast, the bank is completely depleted. Yeah, that, that is pretty costly, pretty costly situation because they're, they're going to have to save this round, and they should be able to pick up some sort of purchase next time around. There's Daps walking in, taking uh, Stanislaw to town. Dumore also shut down. That's going to be sight. And uh, three members alive just with USPs, so there's really absolutely no reason to go ahead and save these. Best they can do is run out and uh, and suicide on these T's at A site. Yeah, really nice job early start here by Conquest, but Invert getting that kill on Daps. Nice job. That Nate should finish the job for no. So Drossel finds a way to survive off that. Invert does go down there. So I think what's really important uh, to talk about. Oh, nice shot there by Drake, but. Um, what's what's really important to talk about here is the fact that Conquest is getting these rounds early, and it's going to make their lives easier on CT because we know that Inferno, they're, they're a decent team, and I think that playing Team Coast, who's obviously won some games on Inferno, uh, is going to put a little bit of a test to them, but if they get a seven, eight, nine rounds, like it, it just appears that they're playing so strongly, but now we actually see the first gun round here in the fifth round, Sabo, and that's just a little bit unorthodox. Yeah, it's a little strange, and so that, that's just a direct result of that um, that unusual third-round buy uh, for Coast that didn't work out so well. So we saw a, uh, an eco round on, on round four, and now we're going to be on our first official gun round a little bit late in the game. And uh, this is really bad news for Coast because they could lose all their momentum. Check out the aggression, though. Drake pushes up, flanked by draw soul, gets one pick. They're going to smoke off with that aggressive smoke, even spam through the smoke. Check that out. Nice M4 headshot. Uh, the bomb's down. I don't think they actually have information or eyes on the bomb, though. So you're going to see Drake fall back, draw soul as well. Shazam picks it up. And uh, based on those picks, I think the bomb wants to work its way possibly towards A. But Coast, they're not rotating. They're not giving it an inch. No, they're not. And it, it does make sense about this. I want to say anything about the CS Go Lounge odds. The official uh, odds that were ended up as is 84% Conquest and 16% Coast. And I'm not so sure about that. That's based off of a best of two. And uh, although I say 55% oh, so well Conquest, we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen here. But Conquest needs to find a way to make something work here. And they need to get a pick to try to open the side up. They got 38 seconds left. And they, they need to find a way to open this up. But Invert, Dumore, and Stanislaw on this A side are playing it very intelligently. They're playing back. Invert's down to 23. They're playing this very smart, enforcing conquest to have to push to get information and waste utilities to get into the site uh here comes the execute they're gonna have to go face to face against uh do more and stan as well invert also inverts such a star player peeks around the corner and check out how quickly that uh that got mopped up do more invert and stan's law coming up very very big uh picking up the kills and coast even though i thought they were pretty much out of it on this one they win the first gun round this is a nice chance to turn the economic momentum around keep in mind uh, Inferno was not Coast's map choice. This is actually Conquest's map choice. It's what they're solid at. Uh, they've still got plenty of money going into round six here. Second gun round in this unusual economy for, uh, for the CT. Yeah, and that, that is, that is a good one. I like how you pointed that out as we've got Drake and Dap staring each other down through the wall. They don't know it. And, uh, th this will be a critical thing that happens here. If Drake can spot these players and hold this it'll prevent the total lot flood but i think that he is going to throw smoke and i'll push these players back nice start by conquest but like you said team coast you know a nice round and oh shazam rips inverts head off that was a nice shot by him and that's going to smoke off stanislaw at cubby and they're still trying to decide on what they're going to do that's an important pick too invert, uh, invert one of the star players for the team star opera as well stanislaw and uh, and drake are the other other hard carriers for coast 
And you see Stanislaw watching A site and Drake uh, spread out over at B site. So it's actually a really solid setup. You have your best players split amongst the sites. Bomb wants to go towards B site. And Drake's going to go ahead and drop some smoke and block it. Nap, love it. Jumps up, gets the, uh, the boost up wow. top and uh, finds the headshot on Drake. So he's going to go down. That's Straw Soul all alone. Stuck on opposite side of smoke. Bad smoke, though. Could get the shot, not meant to be. Rush plays the corner and takes him down. That leaves Stanislaw and Dumour alone for the retake. Stanislaw's got to be very careful when he comes and meets Rush. Oh, and he does go down. He didn't see him. Rush in a nice spot here. Does throw fire and goes for the shot. Throwing some nice nades there, and Dumour does go down. A nice job there containing with Rush working that angle there. Stanislaw got two for the coast, but it didn't matter because that shot by Nafly really opened it up for that B-side hit. Yeah, I think that's really what it was all about. It was um, that, that strange boost. In fact, I, I, I was hearing through their audio uh, a little bit of complaints from Drake about that shot. It was, it was pretty cheeky, right? You're going to boost up on top, peek over the smoke, and... I think it might have actually been a jump, uh, an actual jump shot hit. Um, I missed it on my camera here, but I mean, it just no, I mean, it, that opens the site up. It appeared that that's what happened. It was through the wood and it hit him in the head. So that's what it appeared. I mean, I'm going to have to go back and look at that again. But nonetheless, it was a solid shot. Big really play. opened it big up. Play. Yeah. yeah, big players make big plays. And, and clearly, Nafly on that play was a big player. And he is. He's a solid player. Um, I think all these guys are, are pretty solid. Stanislaw, obviously, for Team Coast, somebody who's very, very talented. Um, you know, and although they sit at number six, two, two, and three, they're they're a good team. Um, and I, I have a lot of respect for these guys. And, and Drake and, and Stanislaw, as carries for this team, um, you know, giving Invert the op and, and letting him do some things, I'm curious to see. Um, if they do bring that out on this map, I'm not so sure that they will, but Stanislaw in a nice spot here to try to try, pot, spot these players coming through porch. Pop left. And oh. I don't know. Uh, yeah, there you go. Invert. Extremely lucky kill on Daps. He did a nice pop flash, but uh, Daps sent it right behind him. Somehow misses every single shot of the spray. Uh, that's going to be Scythe and Nap. With the, uh, with the bomb plant, Rush going to play inside sight, and you've got Draw Soul and Drake all alone. Probably probably shouldn't go for this. They're going to go ahead and pick up some AK-47s and play for, for exit. Really smart choice. About all they can do. Their economy is still looking extremely fragile. The richest man with $400, that's going to be invert. You're not going to be able to buy an op on that economy, even with the round bonus, which, by the way, was reset by that single round win, putting the one point on the board in round, uh, what was that, five. 14 coast looking pretty precarious alex yeah shazam and daps are talking about i think they're talking about daps whiffs and uh i think i think it was flashed um yeah i think it was flashed and we just got confirmation from the great producer helium he's the helium man of the bro. hour but uh, nonetheless uh, yeah i mean just got wrecked by that flash and so obviously he's gonna whiff um, but uh, nonetheless, Conquest gets another round, and nice job by Conquest of keeping this going, and it forces Team Coast into kind of a precarious position. Yeah, extremely, uh, extremely precarious at this point. I mean, they, they don't have any cash. They couldn't force off. All we have are a bunch of smoke grenades to do some sort of delay tactics, and then the two, the, the one AK and the one M4 uh, in draw on Drake's hands, which they were able to save last time. They're going to four stack A site, which might be a bad idea, leaving Drake all alone to guard B. And uh, Daps as a solo entry on B. He's just trying to peek ahead, get a little bit of information. Finally gets smoked off. He's got a, a flash in his hand, though, which tells me he... Well, it's just going to be a fake. He's going to flash out, and then you see the entire team on the minimap working their way back towards mid, which uh, could be bad. I mean, that's the meat grinder. And uh, Draw Soul, he's hanging back in pit, so um, all they have to deal with a few guys uh, with pistols. And then Draw Soul's the real threat back there. That's a good point. Invert there does go down, and this is opened up for the T's very well as they are going to walk into a stack, but they still are going to probably be able to turn this out and make this happen as they are coming in at all angles and pretty much putting Drossel in a spot back there by Pitt, and he does go down. So a nice job there by Conquest surviving. All five players making it out alive. And a nice job by Conquest. And 7-1 for this half. I mean, they're playing very well T-side right now. Yeah, extremely solid, especially on Inferno. I mean, you tend to see just a little bit of a CT bias going on on this map. In fact, both teams have shown stronger CT sides than T, so this is absolutely huge for Conquest. 
Uh, that last round actually could have gone either way. While the action was unfolding at A site, you saw Daps actually push forward and uh, take a kill at B site. So they could have rotated the bomb right to B, no problems as well. Solid, solid play, but this time, Coast has guns. Yeah, they need to they need to get around here. They need to turn this around. They you know they're struggling to get something going here, and they need to do it now. Uh, I don't know how they're going to be able to do it, but they need to find a way to do something. Uh, they've got Stanislaw and Dumore in pit, inverted library playing way passive on that arch side. Drake and Draw also playing pretty passive there at B as well, not a smoke down or anything until they hear anything. But they're getting bracket control, and Conquest with they're getting bracket control gives them a lot more options for. Uh, some some pop flashes they can do, some smokes, some things, and inverts can actually go peek and see if they're going to come through arch. But what he doesn't know is that they actually might do it. Invert does spot, and he doesn't take him out. So Shazam gets the kill, and now they're going to flood. It looks like they're going to flood a site as they find Stanislaw down there in pit, and he does get taken out by Shazam. And now with one in pit, this should be. Oh, no. Nice play by Dumore, and he does take one out, but he is traded. And now Drossel in a 1v3 coming to A-site. He's just going to save. I mean, in, you know, the hardest site to take, uh, to retake in, in the active duty map pool. Uh, there's no way it's going to happen. Yeah, I see real strong plays coming in from Pitt. Um, and then, uh, again, you saw a little bit of a holdout going on uh, at A-site, and Rick's Again, as Lurk saves the day, this time he pushed in the library, which is exactly where Drake came in from B-side, able to get the pick off, and at that point, Draw Soul made up his mind. You know what? The, re the retake is not going to happen. I'm all alone. Backs off and uh, hangs onto that gun. Looking at the financial situation, they're finally starting to make a little bit of cash uh, based on the max loss bonus, but it's not quite enough. Look, the uh, the richest person is going to be due more with $3,500. In, in this situation as Coast, you really would like to do some sort of a force buy in this situation and maybe capitalize on the fact that, yeah, we got a guy, he's got armor, he's got a rifle, we can do something. But it's just so, so dangerous. You're going to go up against a fully equipped Conquest. So they're probably going to have to just go ahead and save this round and, um, frankly, throw that rifle away. The match has been paused. I didn't see exactly who, but I can only assume this is a tactical timeout yeah. on the part of Team Coast. I mean, they have to figure something out. It does appear that way. I think that Team Coast, I, I, I hate to say it, but with the way that things are going right now, they need to do something that is just borderline stupid. Okay, that is stupid. I'm, I'm just going to say it. They need to do something that Conquest is not going to expect, and at this point, I don't really know. I mean, with Conquest having well, this much money, if they lose this round, they're still going to be able to buy the next round. But Conquest, if they force up, uh, yeah, they'll still get, they're going to get the max loss bonus. But I think they've decided that they're just not going to buy and they're going to let this rifle probably get lost. And I think that's probably the best decision here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, in fact, you see Drossel, he's the only person who makes any sizable purchases, picking up a whole bunch of grenades and... Uh... They stack a site pretty heavily, and I think the competition is not so much about this round. This is going to be more or more or less a throwaway. Nice aggression, though. Check it out. One and one trade, but B-side's quickly going to fall down. First on the rotate is Stanislaw. I expect him to get smoked off here any second, and there it is. Smoke grenade pops down. Stanislaw with a USP spamming through smoke. Probably not going to do much damage there, and he has the fallback waiting on the team. They're in a good position to do a quick, uh, quick retake, but the guns... Yeah, and Stanislaw is trying to spot these players there, getting ready to plant. They are going to do it. Dumore jumps at that AK and doesn't connect, but now... Oh, and there it is. The end of the round As I was talking about that jumping AK stuff happening in Banana. It does end up going Conquest's way. So they do get the round. Max loss bonus with Team Coast, and Team Coast needs to get something started now, and they need to string it together quickly because this is getting out of hand. Well, now is the time when we figure out exactly what that tactical timeout was all about. They've got guns. They're going to make a proper purchase. Invert finally with an AWP in his hands. Um, and I'm curious. I mean, I, I was thinking maybe we'd see some sort of a rush strategy, but based on the smokes over here, I don't I, I don't suspect Invert's going to push out. Can't even see anything with that AWP. He's playing really close on the edge of smoke. And uh, five-man push going down mid and aft. Shazam's going to have to deal with two more. There's the push through smoke. Bad decision by Shazam, and it's going to get his head taken right off. Yeah, they need to be very careful with these these players coming around truck side. Dumore's going to have to do something sick. He gets two. He gets three. And he does a nice job. And nice. that's the round for Team Coast. Dumore a 4K, and I think he did more on that round. Nice job 
by him to contain those players at truck side. Yeah, we've seen this sort of situation a lot, especially at uh, the recent DreamHack qualifiers where a team is uh, extremely down, uh, and then it finally goes to an, an 8-0 situation or something really, really dire. They take a tactical timeout, and then all of a sudden the team is reborn. Uh, they have that pep talk. They change their tactics, and then the streak begins. So let's see what Coast can do. They've got the money. They're able to do something, and all this aggression down mid, charging out catches. Uh, Shazam and Rush off guard. Nice nade kill as well. And that puts the uh, man advantage in favor of Team Coast as Conquest goes full tilt. Yeah, oh, and that nade does catch out invert. So he does go down. That B site's going to be given to Conquest. And they, they've got the HP advantage and the AKs there. So this is interesting. But two incendiary grenades there for Danislaw and Drossel. And they need to try to make this work. They need to string together these two rounds. Otherwise, their economies are going to be put in a pretty bad situation here. And it's going to continue to be bad. But a nice nade coming in there. And they need to hold this off. Do more. And Drossel trying to make their way in through CT. Stanislaw is going to try to help Pinch. He does take out Daps. They need to get these two players. They do fire him out and force him out. But it doesn't Naf. matter because Napfly comes out there and takes out Do more. And there is the round. 10-2 scoreline right now. Conquest playing really exceptional there on the T side. Uh, Shazam getting the op, and I don't know. I mean, this is this is looking rough. I mean, they needed to win that round. Yeah, Naf comes up really big. I mean, he is such a solid player coming from the Elevate lineup and really rounding out Conquest. I mean, if you look at it at HLTV, he's the man of the match, and you can see it right there. Score 10 and 2, that completely resets the Team Coast economy, and it's got to be, uh, more importantly than that, uh, a huge moral blow for the team i mean you you don't want any team to go 10 rounds t side on uh, on inferno in the first place they, they might have lost the match right there uh with that 10 even if they make it a 10-5 score line at this point gotta play uh gotta play the win though you see draw soul and drake drake with an m4 he's able to do something if he can just arrange some sort of a spray down you see that three-man stack at b side as well yeah, and I think in a situation like this, they need to gamble and they need to flip a coin because this is not good. Um, I, I'd like to see them just stack aside and just all stay there or four of them and maybe one place for rotate sounds, but I don't know. I mean, they need to do something here. It's getting out of hand, and they know it. And, and, they're, and they're also getting brackets control, and this is really helping out Conquest to feel this out because they know that they're not pushing up onto site. They're just playing so oh. passive. Stanislaw just missed daps. Yeah, that, that's going to possibly be a problem later. But nonetheless, Drossel here at Emo trying to make this work. Does go down, and two frags coming in. But Drake gets one. Can he get another one? No, he can't. Nafly just coming through there, spraying that AK, making it work. Inver gets one, and then the trade happens. So now it's down to the Deeg and a 3K dream. If he can do it, that would be absolutely insane. But he's got to make a move, and he's got to do it quickly. Nice 2K round by Nafly. Do more alone. It's going to get shut down. A little bit more costly than uh, than I expected that the plan pan out for Conquest, uh, the way things were stacking up at the site, but it uh, doesn't matter. They get, they get the victory right there. They're still filthy rich. Look at Rich uh, with 12.3K, and uh, that's going to force Team Coast on yet another save round. Keep in mind, this is round 14. Saving here, they're probably going to go ahead and lose this one in quick order, and uh, their best hope is really to make it a uh, three-point half on... Um, on CT side, Inferno, very, very dire situation. And at this point, I think they, they're already going to be thinking about, well, you know, what can we do better moving forward and going into uh, Cobble, which is actually their pick. Yeah, this is just, it's getting out of hand. But Stanislaw daps. Daps to spot one, and he does get another one, and they just came out of apartments and handed him those frags. And they're also hiding in there, and Nafly hits a nice shot. Nafly, this, this is just... I mean, he's got 12 frags, Ricks with 16, Shazam with 12, Rush and Daps both with 8. I mean, Nafli's just getting some nice entries and really helping this team out in a lot of ways. I think emotionally, too, because they know if, if Nafli's in, hitting his shots as, long as, as well as Ricks and Shazam, like with these guys hitting their shots, it's going to open up so much for these other players on this squad. And they've really come together over the past few weeks, and I like the way that they've been playing Counter-Strike recently. On quest, extremely solid, surprisingly so. I mean, they're sitting at number two. If they get a victory, if they win both maps, uh, this will actually close out the week in the number one spot just ahead of Luminosity Gaming just for this week. 
Uh, and like I said, they're real contenders uh, this year or this season to uh, to move all the way to MLG land, especially in light of how poorly um, CLG has fared within Sevo, making far too many one-for-one -one ties uh, throughout the entirety of this season. A couple of picks. This is really good for Coast. They're able to pick off both Ricks at Banana, and then another pick off. So now it's a three-versus-five situation. Coast might be able to get one more point. That's a small consolation prize on CT half. A do more there on Forge, but he does go down. Two more came and did go down there, and Daps gets two more. And now this opens up A side, but he's got to be careful on the cross. As Drake's there, but he hits another shot. Three kills already for Daps with six HP in pit. And this guy, Shazam and Ricks, are laughing about how those shots from Daps, which obviously is, is funny, but very true. So Stanislaw and Drossel need to make this work here. Nafly does go down, and now it's a 2v2 situation here. Yeah, just got a lot more winnable for. Coast peeking around the corner. Stanislaw gets way too aggressive, pushes out, and gets caught into a pretty bad situation outside of quad. He shuts down, draw solo all alone, looking the wrong way, trying to trying to avoid that flashbang. And the headshot compliments of Rush close the round out 13 and 2. That is um, uh, not too good. I mean, and look at your CSGO odds. I mean, 84% in favor of Conquest, 16% in favor of Coast. I think most of you, 84% of you, are, are feeling pretty good about your skins right uh, right now. Uh, Coast is going to have to come up big, not only on a pistol round, but go on one heck of a winning streak, which, I mean, let's face it, is highly, highly unlikely based on the way they've been playing so far. Yeah, I mean, they, they're just looking to cobble right now. Unless they win pistol round and they just start stringing them together, uh, they they are they are just looking to cobble and, and I think that they have a chance if they get up early I think I think if they play smart and they get invert going with that up I think that they have a chance but it's going to be a tall task for them to 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 really get in the mindset of that if they lose this bad on on Inferno they they need to make this a competitive game I'm not saying they're 100 percent out of it but it's not looking good and it's not looking good at all yeah well I mean you mentioned cobble and maybe it's a little bit too early but e even looking forward at the next map. That's going to be one heck of a heck of a hard task. It is Coast's map choice. I know, I understand exactly why they picked it. Right? They beat they beat Conquest once before. But if we look back at match history, they haven't done a whole lot of uh, cobblestone. They've they've been stomped by Conquest in the past with a six sixteen loss. Uh, meanwhile, Conquest they've been all over the board, including a victory over Luminosity Gaming, uh, which is absolutely huge. That happened on Cobble. They took a sixteen thirteen victory over CLG and I by power on cobblestone. This is a team that can really do it. And I'm afraid uh, to call it too early, but I'm afraid that that one victory might have been a little bit of a fluke uh, or, or, or a fortunate situation for team coast. I really want to believe, let's see what happens. Yeah. And, and, and some duallys on that fly. That's interesting. And it looks like Stanislaw is going to lead the charge up mid, and it, uh oh, I don't know if he was spotted there by Ricks, but Ricks does get off, does get out there and get Drake, so that was a nice job. But Stanislaw is going to break through, and they break through that porch side. But Doomore going down there is going to kind of isolate these terrorists in the site, and this is going to be a challenge to be taken off here. Is that all these CTs are alive and Inverts tagged heavily in sight? They need to find a way to make this work. Stanislaw does take out Shazam and then gets another one. But then the trade does happen, and now it's a 2v1, and it does go in favor of Conquest. And at this point, you can pretty much say, yeah, Rick shot the bomb. And, I mean, yeah, this is just, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to down, I'm not trying to downplay Team Coast because I think, I think they're a good team. Like, I'm not trying to, you know, be disrespectful to them as, a, as an organization and as a team. Uh, but but nonetheless, I think that Team Coast has just got to be thinking, okay, Cobblestone, what can we do right now? You know, it's it's interesting that they got the bomb down on that. That actually should not have happened. You saw Conquest. The only person watching uh, Truckside would have been Ricks. He pushed way up in apartments, and they left Truckside completely open, allowing Coast to walk in. They're in a really powerful position to go ahead and uh, uh, take the round win, but they, they frankly got out-fragged once they got into the site, and, and that allowed Conquest to go ahead and make the retake. Very, very uh, frustrating situation uh, if you're on coast because you can't do a whole lot. You see they're going to buy up as fully as they can with a bunch of eagles rushing down, and look at Rush. 
with the spray down only gets one kill does a little bit more damage ricks finds another he goes down and now we're at 2v3 decent situation for ghost but still not great now invert does need to find a way to make this happen and he's got 22 health and it's just not going to happen. So he didn't find a way because his other play teammate got taken out there, which is understandable given the circumstances. And it looks like Conquest should win this here very shortly. I mean, uh, I mean, Conquest just got off to a really good start. I mean, they won five, they won four in a row. CTs um, at that time when that was Team Coast, they got only they got two rounds, and they never they didn't string them together. And it's almost they almost got to max loss bonus both times. The second time they did. And that's just that's just tough shoes to be in. And so here we go. Team Coast is going to buy out here, Sabo, and yeah, they need to find a way to make this work. And it's not looking good. Yeah, buy out, but by, by buying so heavily last round, they're not able to get a proper AK-47 buy. I understand the point, right? You you want to you want to max, maximize your chances for having more rounds to maybe go for a win, maybe go for a tie, rather than waiting for it to go 15-2 and then going on a mad streak to somehow tie the game up so the gun advantage clearly goes in favor of conquest we see very uh very typical setup draw is going to be creeping up towards apps dan is law watching mid shazam takes a couple of shots at him but you see a four-man group up towards banana there's the flash this is going to be entry and i think this might be over very quick the fire coming down there so i mean obviously having two players here in that floater um, which is Shazam to come over, but I don't know. I think that uh, Team Coast has a different idea, and I think they're going to try to force it into this A side, and if they can smoke off Shazam and get there quickly. Oh, and they did smoke him. They contained him outside of the site, so Shazam has to make a move and push through that smoke, and he does do it, and he does get through that smoke, and now he's on site, and they have no idea that he's here. He does flash a couple of those players and gets a couple more, but it's going to come down to Team Coast holding this off in this 3v2 situation, and they literally have no choice but to do this. And I think Nafly and Daps are probably, well, what the heck? Why not? I think they're just going to go for it. Yeah, I mean, they've got rounds to throw away, right? And and they've got a lot of money. So if they want to go ahead and make a, make a push on it, they can. Instead, you see that smoke, you see the flashbang. That's going to make up their minds for them, and instead they're going for some sort of exits. One pick by Invert. Take it now, fly. Dap's going to peek the corner, get one. Spots another, but he's going to go ahead and bail. Try to save that weapon financially. That's a good idea. I mean, they, they, they should save it. Probably have to save the next round, too. But then win out on the next one. Yep. You are correct, sir. You are correct. Do more. 14 frags there for Coast. Top fragging and top fragging for conquest is rix with 20 frags uh so interesting setup here is three of the T's nice. on coast are not out of single digits yet so nice to see do more at the top of the leaderboard even even though coast only has three points uh he's representing big with 14 kills and uh the past few games in all leagues we've seen him and uh draw soul sitting very much towards the bottom um and stanislaw and drake pretty much carrying the team uh, this time around, very different situation. Just wish they had a few more points on the board. Yeah, and in our notes, we you know we talked about you know a lot of the stuff that that this team needs to do, and the coach needs to find a way to get this opened up. And they do. They do take out Shazam. They throw the smoke for the cross at B to try to contain those players in B side. But Rick finds a way to take out Drossel, and. Um, AK there, oh, these four of these players here are pushing through Arch, and I don't know if Rick's heard him, but if they do go to B and do a B hit from CT, this would be interesting. It would isolate Daps and Nafly, um, but they've got an M4 and a 5.7. If they set up positioning right, they could do some damage against that. I think Daps is suspecting something. He's already peeking this corner. No, that's Naf. Checking the corner. Spot him. And now the molly, what a perfect molly. Does a lot of damage. Nav's going to get shut down. And then uh, Stanislaw, actually Invert, taking the pick off on uh, on Nav as well. So that opens up B site. The bomb's going to get planted. Do more in the perfect position to flash out. Surprise. Rush. Look at it. One, two, oh. single spray. Oh. Yeah. Do more. <laughs> that was, that was nice. That was nice. And, you know, that's a 16 frags there. And, and nice job by Doomore. I mean, really nice execution with that spray down there. And, and they did a good job of getting those four players through Archside and making it work, pushing in to be 
through CT. And nice job by them. So now a 15-14 setup here as Conquest is forced to do some pistols here, a couple things of armor, no head armor, and uh, a couple nades. So they're just going to play pretty standard here. Yeah, it's the second time we've actually seen Rick's um, in a position where he could have maybe seen what was happening, but uh, missed the entire team walking right past him. He was hanging back by apartments, and uh, you saw four just walk right through mid, hang a left, and go down arch, uh, allowing for entry. Nice for Team Coast. I mean, that's a small consolation prize. Rick's going to pop one of them off with the CZ-75. That's, uh, that's no good. Yeah, he's got an AK now in that apartments area, but all four of these players for Coast want to hit B. Is that Daps that just went into that smoke? Yeah, he's hiding there on that corner, and uh, Daps with this... DZ-75 Emerald, knowing that this is coming, this could spell disaster. Oh, my God. He gets God. one, and he does hit another one down to 17, so it's do more. Easy pick for Nathalie if he can hit the shot, but nonetheless, they're going to close this out now. 16-14. Wow. Conquest makes it work here with that buy setup, and they do find a way to make it work 16-4. to four. I think I said 16-14. I apologize about that. 16-4, and there it is. And now we're going to Cobblestone, Sabo, and what do you have to say about that map? That, that